Well, I think the reason to come to uh, the Walsh Research Institute is to really uh, connect with what's going on in the field of psychiatry. I almost want to implore people to get this kind of training because of the amazing results that I've gotten and the changes in my patients' lives that I've seen because of what seems to be a very simple intervention, which is nutritional therapy. I think if you're a family physician, an internist, a psychiatrist, anybody that's seen a, you know, a primary care population and treating depression, anxiety, ADHD, any of these conditions that nutrient therapy can work for, um, I would highly recommend taking the course. Um, it will certainly open your eyes to a lot of different uh, avenues as opposed to just you know medication and lifestyle. Um, I think those things are certainly important, but I think given the options and like I said, the success that Dr. Walsh has had over the last 30 years, um, I think that's a, it's, it's such a great option for patients, and patients are looking for these options as well. I was very impressed by the detail of his research. Uh, I think that's what drew me in the most to his work, was the amount and depth of research that he had done, um, and how supportive his research was for the type of work he was doing. That was very impressive to me. If a person is going to move forward with their practice and actually think about evolving their care of their fellow human beings, which is why we all got into medicine in the first place. And we want to evolve it in the most um, efficacious way so we can do it without high cost items. You don't have to do $3,700 brain scans to get this done. Methylation and learning about methylation is probably one of the biggest uh, misnomers I think that really kind of changed my world because uh, we had already been testing for MTHFR in our practice and you know obviously general recommendation when patients ask for that test and they see us is we want to give them folates or methylfolates and I think a big game changer for me was actually looking at genetic testing which is functional testing of the methylation cycle and actually then treating the functional aspect as opposed to just looking at the genetic SNP. This work fills in those gaps. It actually um, provides us with some very rational, well-researched explanations of biochemistry related to nutrient alterations that fits with what we've known for a long time on the Western conventional medical side, but we just didn't have that connecting piece. And to me, it's crucial if you want to help people get well, that you become aware of this vantage point. And to me, this is the next necessary step for psychiatry. That I, I realized that, uh, you know, if, if I were just to dedicate myself to practicing uh, the Walsh protocol and, and helping folks uh, reduce their dependency on medications and improve their lives, uh, then it'd be a very fulfilling career. And so that's where I am. I, I literally, uh, I uh, sort of re-focus um, uh, my practice to doing this 100% uh, of the time. I, I had pediatricians say to me, you know, you're using, you know, this is a sub-therapeutic dose of Ritalin. You know, this can't possibly be doing anything for this person. But what I think is happening is that they're actually getting benefit from the nutrient therapy to the point where they don't need as much medication support. So it, the medication is starting to work better and they don't need as much. So the side effect profiles go way down. When you're in the workshop itself and you see what happens with the patients, well, I think that's a very unique, uh, remarkable uh, piece of the workshop that you just don't see anywhere else. So that opportunity to look at the patients, look at treatment plans together, compile that together has been integral. I will still go back I save the treatment plans that we've done as a group, and I will still sometimes go back and refer to those. If I have a patient that I'm trying to work with, or I have a question about, you know, what am I doing here, I will go back and look at my notes and look at those treatment plans that we did together. Um, so I find it very, very useful. What was great is, um, I think one of the things that I really appreciated was the online form that we have now for our providers. So, you know, I, I had a kind of a backup, right? If I had questions, I could throw a question out to, to the Google group and, um, you know, get an answer. And it's great that Dr. Walsh is on there as well. So he often provides feedback to, you know, some of the questions that are a little more nuanced. Um, but I didn't find it very difficult. Uh, it was just getting my hands wet and doing it.
Well, this is another outstanding and, and most unusual follow-up that uh, just doesn't occur on other training sessions. I mean, most of the situations you go to, training sessions, you go off to Timbuktu, you sit for a while and you go home and do what you can do. And what happens is the Gould group has just been great. You form some uh, excellent relationships with other professionals who are interested in the same things. And we all wind up talking. I mean, it's an international group, so people are popping in, uh, asking important and really challenging questions to the group. And of course, Dr. Walsh is available. I mean, that that's uh, you know in and of itself. But if you just talk about talking to your colleagues more effectively, that in itself is worth the trip, because then you have a whole array of inputs that come into your machine on a regular basis that you just didn't have before on some of the nuances of things that you're really interested in. So it's nice to work with other physicians and it's really nice when you get a complicated case that you've got uh, Dr. Walsh and folks that have the training that chime in and, and have uh, uh, helped to answer those questions and, and generally they do so very quickly so uh, it's there's not, uh, uh, and not a real lag time when you really want to get an answer back to your patients. Dr. Walsh has made himself personally available to me on a couple of cases. And what's lovely about that is he'll also do some teaching when you're getting his input. And it, it's astonishing that a man who's as busy as he is will take time to do that, which is another reflection of his extreme devotion and dedication to this work that's so inspiring. So even though we're all kind of under this big umbrella of integrative approaches, we're constantly learning from each other and how we're each using this work in our practice. So I, I find it a very dynamic group and that's one of the most fun um, parts about uh, keeping, that keeps me coming back. So I would definitely say anybody who has any doubt about taking the course, um, they should take the course. <laughs> I, I think it would add tremendous benefit to anybody's practice and, uh, you know, again, I, I you know, I, I will keep taking these courses actually moving forward just because even though I may think I have a good grasp of this, there's always learning pearls and nuggets you pick up as you go through. And um, I, I definitely think that I'll continue to be taking the courses in the future.